<sighs> Greetings, everyone. Um, got a bit of a relaxing night. My my wife has taken my mother-in-law out to the store, so uh, I'm enjoying some personal time right now, which includes a lot of modeling. So I am still working on this one. I think I've got enough diff different shades of color on here now, so. I think I can call this one just about ready for the decal stage, which is going to include the emblem here, uh, the little rainbow stripe, uh, a couple of little red circles here and there, some uh, some other markings. I'm going to do a little bit more on the weathering here, just not too much more. I uh, I know that this these colors are probably not correct, but they are good enough for me and I hope they're going to be good enough for uh, uh, Jerry when, when he calls me I know, and I'm still waiting for you bro but um, this is where I'm at I've added uh, the blaster scuff marks here along the, uh, the trenches of the cannons here uh, I hope they don't look so bad, but I think I'm going to add a little bit more of a, I'm going to add a little bit of a dry brushing of some natural steel to kind of bring out the edges of the guns here. I think I am going to add one more gray stripe right in front of there. Uh, let's see. I'm still thinking about whether or not I want to put the extra little white square right ooh, right in this area I want to add a little bit more to the uh, areas that need to have this kind of build up in here but uh, I don't want to kind of cake it out too much but we'll see uh, we'll see if I decide to do it but I want to clean that up just a little bit uh, that kind of turned out a little more illuminant well excuse me that turned out a little more of a metal shade than I wanted it to. That's uh, some dark gold gray, I think, from uh, Vallejo, and uh, a little bit of silver. But I think the pigments kind of uh, broke up a little. Well, I don't know. It really kind of, kind of looks metallic, metallic-y. So uh, I don't know. I still want to add some more detail here along the engines. I still want to add one more layer of, uh, of a, well, I'm going to add some more of a dark wash on this one more time. That's going to be followed by some light blue metallic uh, dry brushing along some of the, uh, the raised edges just to bring out some of the highlights, followed by a minute dry brushing of some natural steel just to, again, bring out some of those highlights. Uh, that's the shot of the backside. As you can see, I did a little bit of pulling, pushing and pulling along here as long as far as the uh, weathering. Did a little more. I need to add some brass in there for the uh, engine detail. But again, this is where I'm at. Uh, I just need to do one more check for colors. I want to add a couple more panel lines down here with the uh, the pencil, but I think that's going to be a wrap, as at least for now, until I uh, get some uh, decals set up. It shouldn't be a problem. Sorry, I've got a mess on my table. But uh, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. I think this is going to go on the bench now, or actually on the back burner. I need to uh, set up some decals. Uh, I'm going to think about whether or not I'm brave enough to even try to paint the, the rainbow uh, detail there. I don't know. I just blanked out. Sorry. But uh, good news that uh, there was a bit of an interior painted in here, so it's not... Uh, as bad, well, excuse me, I'm just glad that it, it has some painting inside, so uh, I was just afraid that it was going to be raw plastic, but uh, I would have done it differently, but that's neither here nor there, but again, this is the, the Buck Rogers Thunderfighter, uh, it's been keeping me sane, 
again, I'm not sure if all of the colors are correct, but it is uh, kind of, uh, now that the weathering is on there, it is kind of getting to the realm of close enough, I think. Uh, little, I think the 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 rainbow detail right here is going to add uh, some color to it, the color that it is missing, and I think a uh, little bit of um, uh, dry brushing here and there is going to bring the rest of this thing out. So I uh, hope uh, this one looks cool for you guys. Uh, I am still up in the air about it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, more on this one uh, hopefully before the end of the weekend and I will talk to you guys later have fun, peace out, happy modeling uh, side note I found out that uh, Trek modeler Boyd Crompton is that right? Trek model, Trek works uh, I, I thought he was a Texas guy but I didn't know he was that close I ran into him over at the local hobby town and uh it was it was just a surprise to see him there. I don't know why I didn't expect to see him there. I just wasn't sure if he was from San Antonio, but he is. So uh, I doubt he even watches my videos. I kind of introduced him and I, I introduced myself, and he kind of looked at me like he really didn't know who I was. Even though I'm the guy that did the uh, the logo for his uh, sci-fi model action. It, boy, he never got back to me. Hope anyway. That was a long time ago. He never got back to me so I could send him the correct files for, for the website. So now he's got a stretched out JPEG with a white background. <laughs> All you had to do is write me, bro. But anyway, guys, I will see you later. That is it for the Buck Rogers Thunder Fighter. I would show you an update. Oh, it's there. Landed in my lap. It's okay. But, <laughs> yo, here, I do have a part. Another model I'm working on is the 12500 scale uh, classic Trek series set. It's I don't know if this is a new uh, tooling of the 12500 scale Enterprise, excuse me, classic Enterprise, but it's pretty cool. The uh, Klingon uh, D7 is a brand new sculpt. The Romulan Bird of Prey is a, is a brand new sculpt. Uh, both of those are pretty cool for the scale that they come in. Uh, I I can't complain about these. I mean, it, I I, would, I I guess my only hope is uh, they're little, <laughs> but uh, that's kind of why you get them, right? So uh, they're it's it's a really cool kit. The decals really make them sing. I already have the three-piece movie set, movie era set, which includes the. Refit Enterprise, the Klingon Katinga, and the Reliant. Again, a very an excellent kit. In fact, I could take you over to my bench while everyone is gone. Excuse me, excuse me. It's too dark in here to film, as you can see, but I've got a couple of the kits that I'm just grabbing off my desk right now. Walking back out into the light. Hold on, Sid. This is what I've got on the Reliance so far. I have not added the decals to the the bridge area yet or any of the top detail, but for the scale, I think they're pretty cool. And uh, there's no, like, I mean, they're not shy about making the parts as thin as they need to be, so you're not losing anything as far as the... You know, no, nothing really quite gives away the the tiny scale of it. You know, because some sometimes you'll get a get something this small, and these pieces here, like the roll bar, will kind of be a little thicker, just so you don't snap them or you don't I don't know eat them. But it doesn't seem to be the problem with these little kits, and they're and they're pretty cool. Again, the decals make them all come together. And, uh, yes, they are, of course, I'm not going to be able to zoom in on these guys because they are so small. But, anyway, um, they look cool to me. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Have fun. Peace out. 
late. 